Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and I am super excited to be a guest designer for Honeybee Stamps today. So I am using their Celebration Box Stamp Set and Dies, as well as the Hooray Stamp Set and Dies. And I am starting off with the balloon images from the Celebration Box Stamp Set, and I'm just stamping them onto some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. Honestly, I chose this cardstock because it was sitting on my desk. <laughs> Convenience. So I stamped the images with Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink, and then I'm using some Detail White Embossing Powder. And I ended up stamping all of the balloons three times because I wanted to use two of each balloon on the front of the card. And then I was like, while I'm at it, might as well stamp a few more, use those on the inside. So I melted all that with my heat tool. And then I pulled out my Distress Oxide inks again. I wanted to create kind of a rainbow color theme. So I inked up all of the balloons in a different color. And then the three remaining balloons, I did one in the blue, one in pink, and one in yellow. So I didn't do anything special. I'm just sponging the color over the balloons. The white heat embossing kind of resists the color, plus just rubbing it with the um, blending tool. It kind of rubs off whatever collects on top of the heat embossing because the Distress Oxide inks are a more pigment style inks. So I sponge on all the color. And then once I had all of the balloons coated with the colors, I'm going to sprinkle them with water. So I'm using my Distress sprayer for that. And at first I like sprayed it into my hand and then flicked a little bit of water on. I was like, that's not enough. I need more like reaction. <laughs> so I just grabbed the sprayer itself and sprayed it right on there because that's the funnest thing about these inks and the regular Distress inks is how they react with water. So I sprayed it, let it sit for roughly 30 seconds or so, and then picked up the ink with a paper towel. And then I wiped off all that extra water off of my surface there with that same paper towel. And then I quickly dried this with my heat tool so I could go on to the next step. And I decided as I was doing this, I'm like, you know what, it would look really cool because I wanted to use the box image from the set. I was like, it would look really cool if that was done in the same style because this full set of Distress Oxides that I got, there's 12 colors available right now. There's a couple of browns that I normally wouldn't really reach for. So I was like, why not try one of the browns with this? So on the bottom of the cards, I carried quite a large area. So I did the same thing. I just sponged on a bunch of the ink. There was areas where there had already been water, so it kind of picked up funny, but I didn't care because I'm like, it's going to technically be a cardboard box. So I made sure just to cover enough area and in the die set that coordinates with the stamp set, there's a, there's two box sizes. There's one that will cut out an outline of the stamped box. There's a second one that will cut out the box as well as a slit in the top and then two separate dies that will cut the flaps. So I made sure to sponge enough ink to be able to die cut all of that and then did the same thing, sprayed it with water and it reacted like instantly. It was, you could see it a lot better with this. So once all of that was completely dry, I ran it through my die cut machine. I die cut all of the balloons as well as the parts to the box. And this is where it's really cool. So the two flaps have a um, kind of basically a stitch line so you can fold it over like this and then you can adhere it to the box so it actually looks like an open box. And then that slit in the center, you can put strings or different things. There's um, different images in the set, like um, rolls of paper, et cetera, et cetera. You can even put little like critters poking out of it or whatever you want, which I just think is so fun. So I decided to um, adhere thread to all these balloons. There are stamped string images, which I'm gonna use on the inside of the card, but I just thought it would look really neat to have some white thread attached to each balloon. So I just wrapped it around the bottom, and then I'm just using scotch tape to tape the ends of the thread to the back of the balloon where you won't see it. And then I run it down so it comes down the center on the bottom of the balloon, tape it again, and then I actually use some multimedia matte adhesive to just squeeze right there to hold those strings in place. So I did that with all of the balloons, set them all aside there to dry, and I use, also used the multimedia mat to adhere the flaps to the box because it's such a really strong adhesive. And then while I was doing that, I was like, you know what, I wanna use, there's all these little like confetti images in the set. The set is huge, it has so many images. So there's a little confetti and stars and hearts and all that kind of stuff. So I use this little confetti image and I'm just stamping the same colors of Distress Oxide ink onto my background, which is just a really light gray cardstock. And these inks stamp really, really well. So I just stamp them in the same colors, in the same kind of rainbow order. So pink, the orange, yellow, the green, blue, and then purple. Once I've got all those stamped, 
I'm going to start um, adhering all of these balloons to my card front. So I grabbed, I have these little 3D foam squares and they're just tiny little squares. So you use these or you can use foam tape and cut it down, whatever works. But these were so small, they're perfect for all these balloons. So I popped foam dots onto all of these balloons and adhered them into place. And I adhered them in the same way I stamped the confetti in kind of rainbow order. So I started with the pink and then I did the yellow and the orange and then the green, the blue and the purple. So once I had all of those stamped or put into place, I'm going to run all these threads through that slit in the box because I want to make it look like all these balloons have come floating out of the box. So with a little bit of fiddling so I don't tear anything, I'm going to slip those into the box. And at first I was going to have everything kind of taut, but as I was fiddling around with it, the strings kind of came loose and I was like, I like that more. It looks more like the balloons are just starting to float out of the box. So that's kind of how my mind was working anyway. So once I was kind of happy with how that all looked, I'm just going to flip this over and then tape those strings to the bottom or to the back of this box here and just kind of fiddle with it a little bit and then I can trim off all the excess um, bits of string and then I'm going to adhere the box to the background and I'm just using my Xyron Mega Runner here to apply a bunch of adhesive because this is like really strong adhesive and it can go right over the string, right over the tape, all that and adhere that right to my card base her card front, sorry. So once I've got that all adhered, for the sentiment, I'm using the Hooray die cut that's also from Honeybee. And I die cut the, I guess you'd call it like the bubble part of the sentiment from Vellum. And then the word itself, I die cut from some white cardstock. And that's one thing I love that it comes with that bubble because a lot of this word, a lot of the letters are separate. So that'd be kind of a pain to adhere. But adhering them all to the vellum first, this way I can kind of pop it up on my card. So I decided to go the little extra mile and I actually popped these up with more foam tape. And I actually just took those little 3D foam squares and I just cut several of them into thirds. So I have these really thin, narrow strips of foam tape. And I can apply these behind all of the white cards up there so you don't see them through the vellum. So once I got all of those into place, it actually didn't take that long because these are already um, little tiny pieces of squares. So I was able to just pop them all behind the thicker areas of the letters. Peeled off all the backing and then I was able to adhere this over top of the box. So I've got everything lined up, used my craft mat and the grid lines on it. So I've got everything kind of straight so that I can see what I'm doing and make sure the sentiment is adhered properly. So I get that adhered and then I'm going to go on and work on the inside of the card. So I had those three other balloons that I had sponged and sprayed and everything. And then this is where I'm going to stamp the strings that come in the set. So I'm just stamping those with black ink onto the inside of the card. And there's multiple little like string images and they're all, you know, curly and floaty and all that. So I'm just going to line up kind of where I want to put the balloons and then stamp the strings first. And then I'm going to adhere the balloons into place with that same Xyron um, adhesive, just running that across the back of all the balloons. And then while I was doing this, I had the sentiments pulled out that I wanted to use from the same Hooray stamp set. And my original intention was to just stamp it all in black because I'm like, I don't want to pick just one color out of all the colors. And then as I was looking at this, I was like, you know what, the birthday is big enough. I could probably stamp it with all the colors. So I did. I inked it up with all of these Distress Oxides. I started with the yellow because that's the lightest color. Then I added a little bit of the orange and then the pink. It's hard to see on camera, but I had my head kind of down so I can see where the top of the stamp was. And then I was holding the ink pads at an angle. So I'm using just the edge of the ink pad to add just a, you know, a narrow bit of ink to the sentiment. And I would just overlap just the littlest bit so that everything kind of blended together. So I wasn't even 100% sure, but I thought it would stamp pretty well because these are more, like I said, pigment inks. So they would just kind of hold and stay moist long enough to stamp. And it did. This just made my day when it stamped it. I was like, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> so I stamped that and then I stamped the happy with the black ink. And then I'm going to pop on the card front with foam tape and that finished off my card. So there will be links below the video to my blog post with links to all the supplies used. There's also a giveaway going on all over on my blog for a gift card to Honeybee Stamps. So check out my blog post, which will be linked below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs up, and commenting on my videos. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.